I okay. I do that a lot. I point to the upper right hand corner of my screen, which I um. And that's because it tells me like there's a three hour minimum on recording each time I start recording. Like I got it the first time. Got it the first ten times. Anyway, um. I think uh, if I talk about anything triggering, I'll put the trigger warnings in the description below, as well as uh, the song it's playing. Right now, we are listening to "You Might Think He Loves You for Your Money, but I know what he really loves you for." It's your leopard skin pillbox hat by Death Rips. I love Death Rips, and I'm so happy to make music again. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm so happy, dude. I'm so happy they're not they're not broken up. Cause you like I I can't I literally cannot describe and explain how much I love Death Grips. It's the first like noise rock band I've listened to. Um and really the only kind of true uh noise oriented band I have really gotten into. My father, um has introduced me to some bands called, there's one called Pin CC, and they do something like that on the level of the oddness and like the the inconsistency and the non sequitur. I don't know. The use of non sequitur is the same way that Death Rips does. Um, and that's interesting. F, uh, he, he does not like Death Rips. Uh, exposed. <laughs> uh, he doesn't like cursing a lot. Uh, which makes me laugh. Um, what else? But yeah, I'm just, I'm so happy that they're making music now. And I hope, I hope they don't break up for a long, long time, because I have not found the band like them, ever. And I don't think I ever will. <laughs> um, so that's the first thing, I guess. Um, I obviously did not go to, uh, the preschool I volunteer at, well, not obviously, I guess. Um, I didn't go to the preschool I volunteer at today because my stomach is still acting up. Um, not so much vomiting and just feeling bad. It's just like, I'll spare you the, the details. Um, so I, I stayed home because if I am still sick and if I am still contagious, I do not want to get kids sick. Um, I've had what I had to eat today, and this this morning I had eggs and bacon, and uh, for lunch I had pancakes and Sprite. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I'm trying to like see if I can fix my stomach. Um, I don't know. I'm really honestly very bored today. Uh, I usually play Destiny a lot and watch YouTube videos, but even that is boring me. Maybe I'll play Skyrim. I don't know. I tried playing. I I put in Skyrim on the PS3, and it's so much worse and so ugh, so different from PC, and I can't I, I can't play it anymore. I I was trying to just uh, knock out some uh, achievements trophies for it. Gotta stop watching people play Xbox and or give the Xbox. Whatever, I'll call them achievements. Who cares? Um, I was just trying to get some quick achievements on there, uh, but I I can't, and also I don't care about achievements. So, well, I don't know why I was trying to do that. Um, Destiny is really fucking infuriating. <laughs> um, both like the quality of it. The gameplay itself and the DLC, um, it's just like not, it's good, it's a good game, it's just not as good as I was making it out to be, and not as good as I was thinking it was going to be. Um, definitely less put together than I had hoped for, um, and if I had known that it was going to be this disappointing, that I probably would not have purchased it. So, I mean, I have it now, so I'm, I'm not gonna do anything rash, obviously, but 
it's just I don't know, it's not living up to my expectations, I guess. Um, and I read a review about it that, like, again, the story is very short and very lackluster. Um, and the, the DLC is, I don't know, it, it's also pretty lackluster. Like, there's, there's not another element of story, there's just more story, which they should have included in the game to begin with. So, I remember uh, when DLC first started coming around, people were like, well, game companies are just going to re release like half-finished games and then release the DLC, release ha like half-finished games for full price and then a release additional full price DLC to complete the story. Um, and that, luckily, we have not experienced that a lot. Um, there's probably a few games out there that have done that. But for the most part, games release full game, and then the DLC truly is an add-on. It's not, like, necessary. Um, but with this, this pretty much is necessary, because this story ends on a massive cliffhanger that really doesn't make any sense. Um, and it's pretty weak, honestly. Like, I'll, I'll put it on par with the GTA 5 story. I was not happy with the GTA 5 story at all. <sighs> but, what are you gonna do? I'm just a kid, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll do that thing where you can, like, learn language online. Not Rosetta Stone, because I don't have it anymore. Um... Yeah. Whatever. It's 2009. Ah! Don't! <sighs> Whatever. It's 2009.